Today's video is coming to you in two parts. Part one. For those of you from the Wisconsin area who know Wisconsin Hybrid Theater, uh, Charles Summers, the man behind the magic, the mystery, the meta, uh, is directing a radio adaptation that he wrote of A Christmas Carol several years ago. Uh, it's been performed uh, in the past, but this time it's being performed on the radio. Uh, and I'm totally in it! It's going to be on WMSC on uh, Saturday, December 19th at 3 o'clock p.m. That's 91.7 FM. Um, I'm going to be posting a link in the sidebar with um, you know the date and the station and everything and also a link to the WMSC website so that if you're not local you can still tune in and hear it streaming. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's uh, There are some people in it that I already knew and they're cool and I like them so you know that always helps. There are also people in it who I have never ever met before and are also um, very cool so you know, those are two big pluses. I'm very excited about that. Uh, but, uh, yes, anything else? Mm, Saturday, December 19th. I said all that, right? Yeah, I said all that. Part two! I'm on my way to an audition. It is quarter to seven. I am going uh, nine, eight miles an hour. Um, because there is a snowstorm. And the roads are really, really bad. Luckily, this is a nice long light. Oh, wait, look. Sorry, guys, going through on the yellow. Whoops, I couldn't stop. I could have stopped. I wasn't moving. Oh, God. Anyway, this is what we do for our craft, right? Right. It occurs to me that I should say what the show is that I'm trying out for before I die in the snow. Um, the show is Crimes of the Heart at Waukesha City Theater, directed by Mark Newfing, and I am only posting this if I get cast. If I don't get cast, I'm going to be like, oh dang, that sucked, I'm so bummed I didn't get cast. No way am I showing anyone that video where I was all like, oh, I'm excited, I hope it works out. Because then I'll be like, no, I hoped, and I was wrong, and I failed, and my interlock brakes kept kicking in, and I should have known it was a sign. So I was going to go to the first night of auditions, but I had rehearsal for that radio thing. Uh, I went on the second night, I went on the Tuesday night, and there were, it was so low key because there were only seven people auditioning that night. There were four women and three men, and first of all, the odds of that are just so weird, especially in community theater. They're never like that close of a ratio of women to men. That never happens. So that was uh, pretty incredible in and of itself. But um, yeah, it just, it was a, it was a rough night for an audition. It was, it was deadly cold and snowy and awful. Outside the theater. Gah. Duh. And by awful, I of course mean also really beautiful. Apparently, there was uh, one full BL of people who auditioned the first night. So the callbacks were pretty extensive. Uh, there were four guys reading for the two male roles, two women reading for the youngest sister, three women reading for the oldest sister, and uh, five women reading for the middle sister, which is the part that I wanted to play. If you're familiar with the show, um, it's uh, Meg, the sister who goes off to Hollywood to pursue a career as a singer um, unsuccessfully. Um, so yeah, it was it was pretty nerve wracking because there were just so many people. I'm I'm not I'm not used to it being, you know, still that uh, up in the air. I I was like you know. Ooh, what do I, what do I do? Um, cause it was just, I, I mean, nobody had any idea of how it was going to go. And I really, um, I really don't envy the director that decision, uh, ever, but especially when there are that many people who show up, who are giving you, you know, different aspects of what it is you're looking for from all these characters like that. I just, that would be nerve wracking. I wouldn't be able to handle that. Hi, I have a friend. Um, but yes, what else? I wrote down the things that I wanted to mention so I didn't forget anything. But, uh, the, oh, that might basically be it. We had our first read-through today. Uh, Alfred came along to get some 
culture. <laughs> I told him a beret isn't really necessary, but he wasn't having it. And, you know, I mean, that's the walrus thing, I guess. You know, you never do it unless you're going to, you know, do it all the way. Um, and luckily the theater is a smoke-free facility, so, you know, I didn't have to worry about him puffing down Lucky Strikes while snapping to the groovier parts of the show. Um, oh, speaking of groovy, uh, some footage that I took of the greatness that is Wisconsin uh, on my drive into rehearsal this morning. Hey, it's 24 degrees outside. What do you want to do today? Hmm. I don't know, go for a jog. I might live in the awesomest state ever. Enough of this noise. Back to my usual practice on Saturday nights of rocking out with the ferrets. Yes? <laughs>